take two. <laughs> I tried to do this a minute ago and got a call. Um, I'm back again. I've got a few little topics I want to talk about. Um, as you can tell, um, the car's riding a whole lot smoother. I don't think I've actually uploaded a video. Uh, if I have on YouTube, I definitely haven't done it on BitChute, but CV axle failure, uh, despite what the uh, mechanics said that I had been taking it to it said. That's why it pays to uh, spend a little time and learn some things for yourself. Even though I couldn't fix it, I was able to test it and find out what the issue was. Anyway, I just have a few, three things I want to hit on. Uh, first, I'm going to hit on the Durham, Durham report. Um, it's not as enthralling as you might think. Then I'm going to get into... Um, the Prince Andrew sex scandal, and now I've got some words on what's going on with Canada. I know you'd think I'd be talking about Russia and Ukraine. Look, I don't hate Russia. Uh, Russia has a good, great amount of history uh, with arts and a whole lot more. I've known people from Russia that were awesome. Uh, their government just sucks plain and simple. But to get the ball started, for those that aren't, don't know, uh, and I'll have a link down below, the Durham report was investigating like the Russia Gate scandal and all that. And apparently, the Clinton campaign, Hillary Clinton, paid a third party to hack Trump servers and the White House servers. And that there may be a tie to, like, Biden's, what is it, NSA, I forget his name and his title, but I find that very interesting, that all this just went down, and right as she was starting to come out, emerge, and was, people were talking about her coming out for 2024, and this happens. Now, if you think that, oh, they got her, they got her, this will change everything. No, it won't. The only thing it's going to change is that this was a way to, to tell her, you're not the chosen one. You're the past. We're moving on with other people. Be gone, Creighton. I believe I pronounced that correctly. But more or less, that's all it is. And a distraction from other things like what was it, 7.5 or 7.8% uh, inflation for January? A loss of jobs in January? And I'm sorry, I'm trying to block it to miss a sign, but it keeps moving. Yeah, that's just... This is just a distraction, nothing more. Speaking of distraction... <laughs> Prince Andrew has announced that he has settled his... Uh, sexual assault allegations. I don't know if I said this in this particular take of this video, but it's a lovely little club, and uh, the people that would be watching this video, you're not a part of it. And yes, I'm going, I'm going to throw in the uh, Alphabet Soup Agency, anyone from there that's watching it. You're not a part of the little group. You're not wealthy. You're not, you know, what have you. You're not the elite. So you don't get all the perks either. Uh, you can't mess around with uh, Epstein and his underage uh, sex trafficking ring and get, oh, just pay out a little bit of money and be done with it. It don't work that way. Sorry. If you... And it goes back to if you think that anything's going to happen with the elite. They have fall guys. They have all these checks and balances and ways to weasel out of it. It's been proven time and time again. So, don't get your hopes up. And even if something does go down, nothing's going to change with the election at this point. I'm convinced of that. It, And I'm referring to the 2020 presidential election. It It's not going to change. There's people saying that it, it will. No, it's not. 
the last thing I'm going to hit on is the situation in Canada where Trudeau has announced emergency powers and everything else and he is now freezing the truckers bank accounts for those in America there's a reason we have the first and second amendment well it's a little tuxedo kitty But there is a reason we have the First and Second Amendment. They aren't to protect us from third party platforms. It's to protect us from things like going things that are like are going on in Canada, where they are denouncing protesters as terrorists and you know, they're relatively peaceful. If you look at what happened in America two years ago with like Black Lives Matter, where cities were burning, buildings were on fire, windows being smashed down. That was not a peaceful thing. What's going on in Canada is peaceful, and they're being declared terrorists. Their bank accounts and assets are being frozen to try and stop them. Arrests are being made. People are being attacked by the police. I've seen videos of people being beat by police. I stand completely in solidarity with neighbors to the north. And anywhere else, I think I heard that Sweden was doing something similar or something like that. I'm one of those Scandinavian countries. If you are standing up against what you perceive as government tyranny, I stand with you. Even if I don't necessarily agree with you, I stand with you. Because everyone should have the right to question their government. Everyone should have the right to stand up and say, I disagree with your policy. Rethink it. They should be free to do so, and they shouldn't be silenced to do, in doing so. So the message to Justin Trudeau is back off and listen to your people or resign. Now I don't know what if there's like an impeachment policy and procedures or what have you in Canada. I, I'm not familiar with their laws enough to say that. But Canadian government. If Trudeau doesn't back down, I know like the premiers and all the provinces are standing up against him. If he doesn't back down, you need to make changes. And to the people of Canada, if your government doesn't have your back, don't be afraid to stand up to your government and make changes. The government works for you. Not the other way around. Now, I'm, I'm going to have some links down below, like I said. Let me know what you think. Fun times, ain't it? Later.